guys are always here or welcome if you're new. It's Saturday morning. I woke up around 9 and I've just been doing some laundry this morning and now I just made some coffee. So yesterday was New Year's Day and we literally had such a relaxing day just literally doing nothing. I took down the tree. It's being stored in here just until I can get some wrap to wrap her up. And this is all recycling that we need to take. Today I think I'm gonna run a few errands with my mom, but that's not gonna be until later in the afternoon. So I thought I would vlog, show you guys a Saturday in my life. So I'm gonna go relax, watch some TV, do a puzzle. It's a friend's puzzle that I got for Christmas. I'll show you guys how far I got yesterday, but I'm stumped at this point. Geller and me organized all of their faces in neat little piles. <laughs> one o'clock clearly washing my sheets but i thought i would show you guys what i'm wearing these are mom jeans from american eagle belt is from target this is a sweatshirt mock neck type of thing from target and then i can't remember if i wore this in a video or not yet but i got it from this small boutique called mint and basil i'll link them down below and then i'm just wearing some hoops and probably my timberlands that is the outfit for today i'm gonna run to home goods and probably target and then probably get a coffee because we all know I drink like four cups of coffee a day. I'm off. This is a venti iced coffee with vanilla sweet cream cold foam, no classic, and three pumps of white mocha. It's a lot, it's sticky on the bottom. It's pretty good. It's so bright. So we got our coffees. This is a really good order. However, I just don't like the flavor of Starbucks iced coffee. I really like the flavor of their cold brew, which is usually what this is. It's like kind of like the salted cream cold brew. This one's pretty good. I would get the cold brew next time I would order it though. I do like the white mocha with it. I found this on Bianca Franco's vlogs, but I think she found it from um, Rachel Ratke. We are picking up Pancheros right now. I just got a cheese quesadilla and some queso cheese on cheese and then we're gonna run to home goods and marshall's i don't need anything but i have a gift card so i just wanted to look at some things that they had there and then i think we might run to target i just need a few like self-care toiletry type of items and that's it so it's a really nice day out and the trees are so beautiful and frosty today it's starting to melt off the trees but gorgeous Usually I get a bowl from Pancheros with tofu. Their tofu is so good, but I wasn't feeling that today, so I got a cheese quesadilla. I just wanted to show you guys a few things that I got 
at Marshalls and then I did buy some stuff from Home Goods and Target that I'll show you guys later. It's so late, so I'm gonna do this quickly. I got this Pure Identity Firming Eye Cream. It was $5.99, so I thought, why not? And then I also got this Coco Kind Golden Elixir hair and skin oil. It smells like pickles and it's kind of weird, but I'm gonna give it a try. And then I was in need of some new nail polishes. So these were $6 at Marshalls. So I got a couple of these. This is just the base and top coat. And then I also saw this on TikTok. So I picked this up at Ulta. It's just the Becca under eye brightening corrector. That's all I got. I'm gonna go watch some TV and work on our friends puzzle. And I'll show you guys the decor that I got in a little bit. Sunday now. I had quite a stomach kick last night, so I just went to bed and figured I would pick up the vlog today. I'm gonna make some coffee and work on my puzzle. 17 again is on Netflix, so I'm gonna watch that. Happy Sunday. <music> watching 17 again and I've been painting my nails. I just used this SE polish in the color sheer fantasy. I still have to show you guys everything that I got from Home Goods and Target, but I have just been working on my podcast episode. Um, I am starting the podcast back up this year, so first episode will go live tomorrow on the 4th. I'm excited to get back into it, but I'm just gonna continue working on this. and home goods yesterday because I forgot to this morning. I got this cute little rainbow from Target. It was in like the Valentine's Day section and it was $10, I think. So very cute. I have 
a little thing in my car that's like a mini version of this. If I can find it, I'll link that below. And then I also got this little make your own macrame aloe kit. So it's leaking out dirt everywhere. So I have to do that later today. I bought this new vase. It was $15 at Target. And then I also picked up this citrite, I think is how you say it. It's crystal from Home Goods. And then the little tray that it's sitting on is also from Home Goods. And I got this guy for Christmas. So those are the things that I got. I wasn't gonna put on a cute outfit and go take a picture, but I'm just kind of feeling crabby today. So we're not gonna go do that. So I'm wearing this oversized Nike men's hoodie from Costco and then leggings and frilly socks that look like I'm not wearing socks, but I am. And they're from Urban. Okay, I'm gonna go lay down. to go to his parents house he's gonna eat over there for dinner and i decided to stay back i'm just gonna hang out here for the evening my mom had to spray paint the coffee table legs one additional time so i'll get that coffee table probably tomorrow evening after work i'm excited for the coffee table it's basically just like a circular kind of stone looking coffee table and then it has hairpin legs they kind of wore like a brushed silver or nickel or whatever the, the terminology is but we decided to spray paint them black just for the fact like this has some black features on it and the hairpin legs on this little side table over here are black. I just wanted it to match a little bit better and then the TV stand eventually I have to spray paint those pull knobs because they didn't have any black pull knobs when I went to Lowe's to repurchase. I'm just gonna hang out here. I'm tired of doing the puzzle. I have a few pieces left so I'm gonna take a break. Also, tomorrow is Monday, which usually is when a podcast episode of mine goes up. So I'm gonna attempt to record my first podcast episode in six months. It's been so long. When I used to record them, I really struggled with this feeling of anxiety. I don't know why, but my throat would get very tight and it was a sign of anxiety for me. I don't know why recording the podcast made me feel anxious, but it did. I'm gonna have a little glass of wine before I record. Um, the only wine I have is Cole's grandpa, so it's some red wine, but I'm just gonna drink a little glass anyway because ease the nerves. I don't know. These are the only wine glasses I have. Don't judge me. This bottle is huge, I have to double hand it. <laughs> Cheers. I have some dishes to do, so I'm gonna do those dishes and then start to record the podcast. This is my desk and I keep my work stuff in here. So I'm gonna record in here today. I honestly don't even know if I remember how to use GarageBand, but wish me luck. We'll figure this out. This is gonna take me a while. I'm nervous, but let's do this. <laughs> you guys, I literally can't remember how to do this. <laughs> For some reason, GarageBand isn't wanting to open. It's like locked on my screen. Okay. While we're waiting, if you guys have any recommendations of wines that you think I may like, excuse me, my computer is restarting. If you guys have any recommendations of wines that you think I may like, you should let me know because I'm always open to trying out new wine. I usually like the sweeter kinds that aren't as dry. I usually drink the brand Funf. I'm probably saying that incorrectly, but F-U-N-F. I really like the sweet red and the Moscato. The Riesling is also good. What the hell? 
my computer all of a sudden has a random background. Okay, we're back in business. I know Cole used this for his streaming one time and I'm hoping he didn't mess around with anything. I don't know, we'll see how it goes. You guys know that I'm typically one who just goes with the flow. Testing, testing, one, two, three, testing, can you hear me? Should I leave that in there? Wow. Okay. Okay, I gotta get resituated. Yeah, we're gonna not use that. Take three. What am I talking about? Oh. Take four. Lord help me. I'm probably getting camera shy, so. I'm gonna stop recording. <laughs> okay, I just finished recording. It actually went really well and I'm really happy with how it turned out. If you guys wanna go give it a listen, the podcast name is On Social Butterfly. It's available on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and Anchor, I believe. I'm gonna continue to listen to this episode because I always like proof listen to them just to make sure they don't have any like weird gaps or anything and simultaneously paint my nails. Finally, I haven't done that yet. <laughs> even though I've said I was gonna do it like 15 times. dark in here but we're gonna go to the grocery store so I can get avocado toast ingredients We just finished up the friends puzzle and now I'm gonna take a shower and get ready for bed. I work tomorrow so I'm gonna turn in early because I am tired and I have to wake up around 6.20. I'm gonna take a shower. See you when I'm done. I just got out of the shower and now I am clearly in bed. I'm wearing this really cute t-shirt from my friend Catherine, 1996 baby. But anyway, I'm just editing this video here and then I'm gonna get to bed. I'm gonna end up the video here. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you guys very soon in a new video.